In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Google form. I'm going to run you through step by step what you need to do. And this is going to be a perfect overview for beginners. So first we want to go to Google Forms. And to do that, I would just go to Google and just search for Google Forms. Once you've made that search, it will then be the first one. So go ahead and click on it. Now it's important to note that you are going to be need to sign into Google. Uh, so you can see I'm signed in in the top right hand corner. Now once you've signed in and you're on Google Forms, you'll be on this page here, right? Now here what you can do is you can create a new form from blank or you can choose from some of the templates that they already have. Here if we scroll down here are going to be your recent forms. If this is your first time using Google Forms, you won't have any of these. Now you can choose from any of these templates if you want. Some of them are okay, but you might not be able to find what you want. Instead, what I recommend you do is just go ahead and go to blank and then we can create one from scratch and it's probably more useful to learn from scratch anyway. So now you've got your name here. So this is going to be the title of your form. So maybe I want to make a form and make a questionnaire about people who attended my event. So I'm just going to put event number one form description. Maybe I want my form description to be a questionnaire for people who attended event number one. Right now, by default, it's going to be asking for an email address. You can go to change settings and you can remove that. So if you go to form defaults, you can go ahead and say here, do not collect or you have to connect. You can go ahead and say here, do not collect. Then if you go back to questions, um, you don't have to necessarily collect emails if you don't want to. So on title question number one, first we're going to ask a question. So maybe I want to say, did you attend the event? And then here for the answers, we're going to have yes as an option and no as an option. And you can choose here if you want this to be required or not. For actual answers, I would obviously make sure that you have them required if you want the answer to be required. So now let's build out this form. So on the right here, you can add a question, import questions, uh, add images, add videos. So maybe you want to put a video of your event. Maybe you just want to ask more questions. So if you go ask question, it's going to open another question box here. Now you can choose on the right whether you want this to be a short answer, a paragraph, check boxes, drop down and so on. So maybe I want this to be a paragraph and maybe I want to say here, what did you enjoy about the event? Be specific. And obviously you would have a reason for creating this Google form. I'm just creating one for an imaginary event. Maybe I want that to be a long paragraph and I need it to be required. Again, you can go ahead and create as many questions as you want here. And if you wanted to move them around, if you go to the top of the kind of like question box, you can then drag them to wherever you want. Once you're happy with the actual contents of your Google Forms, if you go up here to customize theme, you can then change the text, you can change the color, you can choose a header if you want and a background. Once you've done that, go to send in the top right hand corner. Then you can either email this form to people or if you go ahead and click on this link button, you can then get a shareable link. You can also shorten that link here and then click copy. And now we can just give this link to someone. So if we give this link to someone and they go to it, they will now be able to fill out the answers to this form. We will then be able to receive these form answers by email and if you go ahead and go back to this form and go to responses you'll be able to see all of your responses here and here if you go back from this template you can see here is the untitled form that we just created so that's how you can create a google form from scratch and the basics so i hope that video did help you out